and welcome everyone to this video on Power BI visualization of scatter chart. You see those small dots in the chart? That's scatter. Now, it shows the relationship between two variables and it's often called correlation plots. You have a positive correlation, you may have a negative correlation. Now, what is the difference between the two? Positive means if one variable is increasing, the other is also increasing. Negative means there is an inverse relationship between two variables. And sometimes you may have no correlation. Now in this video, we'll be talking about how to edit the bubble size, how to perform automatic clustering, and thirdly, how to change markers of different shapes. So let's start. First, let me inform you that I'm using the data from the Wikipedia. The topic is World Happiness Report, where multiple countries are being ranked according to different parameters. So if I scroll down, you'll see a table where different countries are ranked on different parameter scores. So what you see out here is the scores on various parameters. So I've copied the data and put an Excel. The Excel has been shared with you. You have the rank, country and all the different parameters in which the different countries have been given scores. Now I've imported this data and you can see some scatter being built. So let me start from scratch. Let me click on the plus button to add a new page. I'm using the data of 2019. Now first I click on the scatter chart and once I do, I have a visualization. Then in this, I realize there are many fields which can be used. So let's try to understand them one by one. First, we focus on X and Y axis. Then we will focus on details. This will give us a basic scatter chart. After this, we will go to the size and see what can be done with this. So let's begin the process. First, I go to 2019. Let me look at the various parameters. I have the score of GDP per capita, generosity, health, perception of corruption, social support, etc. So let me put health and life expectancy in X axis. Let me put freedom to make life choices in the Y axis. Now, when you do that, you will only see one dot. And the reason for that is you have not given details of the country in which this dot should be split across. So let me put country in the details. Suddenly you have a basic scatter chart on the screen. Now I would like to know the names of each and every country that are present on the scatter. To do so, I go to format. I type in label. That's a general name for adding the data labels. And what I see is category labels. Let me switch it on. There you go. Let me go back to the fields and in this process, expand the area given by the scatter chart. So I can see Singapore is at one country which has high life expectancy and also high freedom to make life choices. Now somewhere I see Greece at the bottom right. As per the survey, it says the health life expectancy is high, but because of the different economic steps, the freedom to make life choices is limited. You see, this is lying at very low score level. Now, what if I want to depict the size of the circle with the help of GDP per capita score? Let me put GDP per capita score in the size. I see all the bubbles exceeding their given area in terms of size. So I go to format, I go to shapes, and you realize there's an option regarding size. I'll reduce this further. This allows me to adjust the size of the circle as per my desired choice. How about that? Similarly, you can also change the marker shape. I see a lot of reports from different consulting firms where they use triangle. However, for this purpose, let me go back to the circle. Now all this was super easy, but let me share the most important trick that is clustering. You see the triple dot on the top, right? I'm going to click on that very soon. So once I click on that, I get something called automatically find clusters. So using a statistical method of sum of least squares, let's see if Power BI can do that clustering easily for me. I click on automatically find clusters. 
It asks me how many clusters do you want? Let me give three to start and click on OK. Within few seconds, my data will be clustered into three clusters. You can see one cluster which is marked in orange color, the other one is dark blue, and the third one is light blue. To fully understand the statistics of clustering, you should read a little bit more about line of best fit and sum of squares method. The concept is very similar to that of linear regression. For now, let me go back and help you understand one more topic. What if you want to change the number of clustering? Well, in that case, first you'll realize that there is a field which got generated and that is cluster. So I'm going to ask you to right click on that. Once I do that, you can delete the clustering or you can go to edit clusters. Let me go to edit clusters. You, here you can double click on the name of the cluster and change the name according to your wish. For now, let me choose four and click on OK. The process repeats itself and I have now four different clusters. By the way, you can also click on the slicer and bring those four cluster names. And let me do that correctly. The four clusters on the extreme left, this ensures the slicer has those four cluster. And now when I choose any cluster, only that cluster's data is being shown on my screen. How about that? So friends, there are other options which are slightly more advanced. I'll try to cover in a different video. For example, you may ask me what is play axis. You may go to analytics and then would want to know what are the different options that we see. So these topics for another video. By the way, a quick tip, the only other visualization which can do clustering is table. And I'll cover that when I discuss table in a different video. So that's it for now. See you in another video. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it. You will never learn. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below? You're one click away from learning new technology. So why don't you subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.